Hey, what's going on? Luke here, and we're here to do another video talking about Tom Trevojevic and another Tom Trevojevic injury. Now, last year he missed most of the season, definitely missed uh, all state of origin, missed the World Cup, uh, all out due to injury. And I feel like a big talking point in Tom Trevojevic's career is what could be? What could be Tom Trevojevic's career? When we've seen him actually play, he won the Dally M, he was absolutely dominant. Um, even like little parts when he has been fit throughout other seasons. He's been a very, very good player. One of the best um, fullbacks in the game, if not the best when he's fit. But the only problem is he is never fit. I have not seen a season where he's gone through the whole season without missing games. Even in his Dally M season um, that he, he won the um, Dally M medal, he missed the start of the season too. So it shows you like he can even be the best fullback in the world even when he's not playing the whole season, but it's just the fact that like, it's preseason already. We're not even in the in 2023, let alone you know in the the proper start of the 2023 season, and we're already talking about another injury to Tom Trbojevic. I believe it was like a grade two hamstring injury, something along the lines of that. They said six to eight weeks. So, uh, look, it isn't a great injury. Obviously, it's you know still in the preseason, still plenty of time for round one. But it's just the fact that it's another hamstring injury to add to the list for Tom Trbojevic. Like, if it was a thing where it was like a knee or an arm or, I don't know, some sort of other injury, you can understand it. You could be like, oh, unlucky shit happens. But it's just the fact that it's the hamstring time after time, after time, after time. And there was plenty of talk last year. I think I did a video, actually. I talked about the possibility of Tom Trbojevic moving to the centers. And we've seen him be effective for New South Wales and for Australia in the centers. But I feel like he'd just be completely wasted playing in the centers or in any other position, really. He's, come, he's an out-and-out fullback. He really is. Maybe later on in his career, can maybe be like a 5'8 or something. But chucking him in the centers, like, he's such a good center because he doesn't play like a center. So the whole argument of him, you know, just chucking him in the centers, you can kind of protect him a little bit. Then it just takes away the danger of having Tom Trubovic in the side. So it's kind of the catch-22. Seems to just... His body just doesn't seem to be able to handle NRL. Um, and there was all the talk about um, him doing all this training and working on... I don't know, developing his hamstrings and, you know, doing all these exercises and, and stretches and stuff and getting him ready. Um, but after all of that, we're here again, a square one, another hamstring injury. So I don't know if this is danger signs for Tom Trbojevic. I mean, he's still very, very young, but it's just the fact that it's just a recurring injury. And it's always being talked about, like, if you do a hamstring injury, that's an injury that you tend to sort of carry throughout the rest of your life um, in terms of being an athlete. So um, it's just like one of those ones where that I don't really know how you avoid it. Like you're gonna it just is gonna happen naturally through running a lot and obviously in preseason it's happened. But it's not like something where a lot of the times, you know, you see them do a knee and it's like them doing a step or um, you know, get caught in a tackle or something like that. The hamstring injuries we've seen Tom Trebojevic do have just been him purely just running with the ball or running for a ball or sprinting. So it's not really it's not really an injury you can avoid. It's just either gonna happen or it isn't and for Tom Trebojevic it's Absolutely devastating. I th I feel like if I was him, I'd be I'd be shattered just because, like I said, it's just another one of the hamstrings. There's been plenty of injuries. There's plenty of things to do when you're a footy player or just an athlete in general. But I mean, I just dislocated my knee doing dumb shit at home. So like injuries can happen in the most random things. But um, at the same time, a hamstring injury is something that's going to be with him forever. So I don't know if we'll ever see John Trebojevic just be completely fit and completely fulfill his potential. And it's crazy to say that considering he's already won a Dalian medal. That's how good he is. We literally were saying, if, if Manly had won the premiership, it would have been the greatest season ever. At the moment, the season that he had in 2021, it's, it's right up there. But I don't know if you'd say it's the greatest season ever. But just in terms of his accolades, in terms of the try scoring, won the Dalian M, um, just the ability for him to just win a game on his own. It was crazy, and I don't know if we'll ever see that, but that's the closest we've seen Tom Trbojevic being completely fit. And like I said, I don't know if we'll ever actually see that because, again, he's injured already. Is that going to happen? Last time I did a video like this, he ended up, I think, coming out and winning the Dallium. So maybe I'm the kiss of death, but in a good way for Tom Trbojevic, maybe I'll do this video and he won't get injured again this season. But uh, and I say this season, the season hasn't even started, but still, still in like the off-season from 2022, um, teams are just sort of going back to training. It's just... Uh, it's very unfortunate, and I think if you're a Manly fan, definitely uh, definitely worries, uh, worrying times because you got Seabold there, fresh coach. Um, they just got rid of Hasler. Already weren't performing that good. I mean, with all the dramas in the back end of the season, they actually played decent without Trebojevic um, at times. Ruben Garrick was, was quite good at fullback. He's going to get another chance there, you would imagine, at some point this year, or next year, I should say. But um, he's very, very serviceable. They've got a couple um, young fellas as well. So it's not like they don't have people who can fill in, but... 
you don't want someone fill, um, filling in permanently because they're, they're not the filling. They're, they're just straight up the fullback. So, um, Tonj Boyevich needs to be in that side for Manly if they're to do absolutely anything next season. And I, I think, like I said, they can be competitive without him. They can be competitive, sure. But it's just like, if, you, if you're Seabold, you're sweating already. Like, you've got the sack from the Broncos. It's a lot of question marks. Like, you're, you're taking over a club legend in Des Hasler, not only on the field, but also as a coach. Um, a guy who many looked at and was like, I can't believe you just sacked Des Hasler. He's done so much for the club. He's actually got them in a pretty decent spot. And they've brought him, um, Seabold, in with all the question marks over him. Over him and already, Trebojevic is going down her in the preseason for an extended amount of time. So, I oh mean, not a good time to be a Manly fan. Um, luckily, I'm not. I'm a Bulldogs fan. Good time to be a Bulldogs fan. But if you're a Manly fan, definitely, definitely worrying times because I think we've seen Manly not be very good in the past, but we haven't seen them really be like proper bad. And maybe that's going to be the case going forward. I don't know. They lost Dylan Walker. Uh, obviously, they've lost Hasler. I can't really think of too many other people like topal has gone. Um, Schuster, Kieran Foran's gone. I think he's going to be a big loss. Schuster into the halves. be interesting to see how Manly actually go in 2023. Can't wait to actually do some sort of analysis on all of the squads and that. And sort of to have a look at the Manly side proper at like their predicted lineups and such. So um, I can't wait to do that. But just in terms of Tommy Turbo, mate. I don't know. I don't know what you do. I don't know what you do if you're Manly. Can't really play him in any other position, but doesn't seem up for it at fullback um, or just up for it in general. Seems to be like, I don't even know. If you chucked him in the centers, he'd still probably do a hemi. Like, it's just seems to be uh, just his luck. Probably the most talented player you'll get. And even like physically, like in terms of the height and the speed, everything about Tom Trojevic is meant to be a star, but just not his hamstrings. <laughs> just not his hamstrings, man. So... Guys, I'm going to wrap this video up here. I'm kind of rambling a little bit. But guys, let me know in the comment section below what are your thoughts on Tommy Turbo and his injury. Is this going to be a sign of things to come for the rest of his career? Is that a sign of things to come in 2023? Let me know in the comment section below. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. If you happen to enjoy that one, make sure you go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you do around here. Also, make sure to use the notification bell. Don't rely on the sub boxes. Use the notification bell and never miss any of my videos. Also, while you're at it, go ahead and chuck me a follow on social media. It's on the screen right now. It's Miss Luke and YT for the most part. My Facebook's Miss Luke, but everything else, including Snapchat, including TikTok, is Miss Luke and YT. Go ahead, give me a follow, give me an ad. And that's where we wrap things up here. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more content on the channel. I'll see you next time. See you.